The Earth was once the center of the universe. It was flat. Then it was round. And it circled the sun. It was no longer the center of the universe. It was a tiny part of the Milky Way. The Milky Way was the only galaxy. Except it wasn't. It was only one of billions of galaxies floating in space without end. Every single time we think we've got it all figured out, we realize we've merely found another piece of the picture. It is a big picture. With many pieces. Sir Isaac Newton was the first to state the law of gravity. Eventually, everybody agreed that gravity alone formed galaxies and stars and planets, and that gravity alone holds the universe together. Then we discovered a force a thousand billion, 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 billion times more powerful than gravity. Until recently, we believed that the space between the stars and planets was empty, a vacuum. We now know it is teeming with charged particles. see glowing electric filaments spanning millions of light years. We see stellar and galactic formations shaped by magnetic fields. Only electric currents create magnetic fields. It is possible that the predominant force in the universe is not gravity, but something else. Recent discoveries in space have amazed and perplexed astronomers. Current popular theories in the sciences can neither predict nor explain the phenomena we are now observing. A new theory is being proposed. A theory which can both predict and explain the data coming back from deep space implications are profound and affect all the scientific disciplines. It is in fact a synthesis of the disciplines. A synthesis which has already led to discoveries that link modern astronomy, leading-edge plasma physics, and ancient mythology. The electric model offers us a new interpretation of the workings of the universe, the history of our solar system, and even human history.
The rise of science was a triumph over mythology, over magic and superstition. That's why the word science today implies reliability. The word myth means fiction, not true. And it turns out that the key to understanding the myths is the same key that is now helping us to understand objects in deep space. To understand the workings of the physical universe. That key is electricity. It was 33 years ago that I first began to wonder about these preposterous stories told around the world, what we call world mythology. What was it that provoked this incredible...